we're back continuing to search for the perfect grinder to go with our April Brewer. This time, we're trying out one of the early generation of the Vilfa Swart grinder. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with April. This time, we continue to test different grinders together with our April brewing kit. This time, we're looking closer at the Wilfa grinders, and this is one of the first generation of Wilfa grinders that was ever made. And it's a bit of a funny fact with this, because I actually brought a version of this with me uh, to compete with in Sweden uh, two years ago for my first uh, Brewers Cup win. So anyone uh, here that don't think we can use this grinder to compete with, that's utterly not true. Uh, it's actually a great grinder. I'm a bit biased here, but it actually is one of the grinders that in terms of a value for money that I believe is the best on the market. I'm going to just say that, right? And we'll fucking can write that somewhere if they want to as well, right? Um, but it's a great grinder. Now, there's a few features to consider. Um, it does generate a quite uneven grind distribution. Part of that is because it actually grinds really, really quick, which is what I like. But as we know, grind speed and evenness in uh, distribution is actually quite well linked together. So probably because it's so quick, it has, actually gives a kind of a wide spread. Uh, there's some other features with this grinders as well, which is maybe a bit annoying when you're using it. Um, the way you actually set your grind size is actually, that's quite efficient and not, no issues with that, but the issue is that it has a tendency to actually move when you grind out coffee. So when I use it, for example, I would always put my hand on top of the grinder like this to make sure that it actually sits in place. Secondly, you also need to be very careful to make sure that uh, there's no coffee or dirt stuck in behind the hopper uh, or whatever you want to call it because what can happen is that this can actually vibrate and sometimes pop out when you're grinding as well. So it's very much don't walk away from the grinder when you're grinding. That being said, it's so quick so you can actually just stand there for a few seconds and it's going to be done. Now. For this series, what we do is that we're taking the April Brewing Kit and we're using the standard recipe that we have in the shop and that we recommend for all of you brewing with it, which is a 13 gram dose to 200 grams of water with a water temperature at 92 degrees Celsius. Now on this grinder here, we set the setting to be on filter which is kind of self-explanatory. It's quite easy to find as well. You are gonna see when you're grinding a relatively wide range of particle size. But funnily enough, we wanna argue that the distribution is actually in very good proportions, as in there's a lot of small finds and there's a lot of big boulders, but it creates a really complex, interesting, clean cup of coffee anyway, right? Now the pouring, as always, is done in two simple structures, a 30 gram circle pour to going into a 70 gram center pour. Then we let that sit for 30 seconds and we do another identical pour. Now our recommended brew time is always gonna be between 2.50 and three minutes for this recipe on this brewer. So that is what we're dialing in the grinders for as well. Another interesting feature with this grinder is that you can actually also set the time um, that you want to grind in. So you could technically just turn it off and, and walk away and come back to have ground coffee. However, I do not recommend doing that because again, uh, your grind size is actually most likely going to change unless you put your hand on the lid. So yes, there's a few things to consider that makes it slightly unpractical at times. But if we look at the price structure of this grinder and the quality in grinds that it produces and the quality in taste it produces, I'm still gonna argue it's a bargain, right? It's a bit more fuss, um, but it does generate a really good cup of coffee. Again, I myself have used it to win a national Brewers Cup championship. And I think to some degree that's evidence that you can brew a really tasty cup of coffee with it, right? So highly recommended from us team here at April. Uh, just a reminder, again, we have no sponsorship or connection to Wilfa whatsoever. We're just trying a bunch of grinders and we happen to actually really like this. So that being said, if you have any questions, 
any thoughts, any experience with this grinder that you want to share to the April community, please comment below here. We're always really happy to make to have any kind of discussion about it. And as always, um, if you have any suggestions on Grinder you want us to feature, then please comment below as well. Thank you very much for watching.